reference. What we're going up with is the tan, obviously. The nails. I'm getting my brows done later this week, and I'm getting my hair done, so it is glowing that's about to happen. Just washed my face so I can do my face tanner as well, and we're going to get into it. So I'm going to be partnering up with Loving Tan today, which I'm so excited about. I'm sure you guys have heard of them before because their products are literally so good. And I have a discount code for you guys. You'll get a free mitt with your purchase One of these nice deluxe applicator mitts with the code Delaney. So I'll put that on the screen for you guys and let's get into the routine. So last night I showered, I exfoliated, and I shaved. And one thing that I have to say that I love about the Loving Tan tan is that it fades on me so nicely i didn't have any like patchiness or anything super harsh any like residue that was really hard to get off so i love that it just kind of faded really easily and i just did a light exfoliation and it was perfect so normally the mousse that i use is the two hour express in dark but they just came out with a new product which is the two hour express in ultra dark so I'm going to try this, and I love that you can wash this off after two hours if you're in a hurry, if you don't want to be wearing it for too long, whatever it is, it's just really quick and convenient. So we're going to go in with that. And obviously, I normally do this in the nude, but because you guys are here, we're doing it like this. Let's get to it. Okay, so another really good product by them, too, if you want a gradual tan instead, is their gradual tan. And... <coughs> It also wears really nicely and is like such a beautiful golden color. Okay, let's go in with this new product. All right, so take it on the mitt and then just do like circular motions up until like the wrist. Cause I do my hands separately because the hands take to the product a little bit more. Just gonna like blend this all in. Use the mirror to check that you don't have any washy parts. But this honestly like blends so seamlessly. And it looks so natural. Like it looks like I just went on vacation. Move on to the chest and the neck. Same thing, circular motions. Just blend it all in. I'm gonna finish this part off camera. called in backup. Fiona normally does this for me. She's busy right now, so quit saying it. Good it's out. nice to do this on your own too, but if you have a partner, a friend, or a roommate, or a dog, a dog, a really good dog, <laughs> it does help. A lot of experience doing this. Look at the back of my neck. And then to finish off the hands, I like to just take whatever is left over on the mitt and just kind of lightly go over my hands. And I'll usually wash it off of my hands earlier than the rest of my body, maybe like an hour after, because like I mentioned, it kind of sticks to your hands a little bit more. And then just do this little claw trick, get like all the little crevices. They also have a face tanner that I am out of currently, but I'll put a picture here. It's a great lotion, it doesn't break me out. I love the color that it gives me, but I don't have any of that right now. So I'm gonna do this little trick that I also really like. Take a little bit of the foam, and then I'm gonna take a brush and just kind of like contour my face. I like a nice fluffy brush for this, wherever the sun would naturally kind of kiss your face is where we'll focus the product. And because I wash my face so much and apply a lot of skincare products throughout the week, I'll do this like every three or four days because it fades a lot faster than the rest of my tan. And it's like a contour as well. My ear, on my ear. <laughs> Since it's a contour, I like to do the jaw, even though the sun doesn't ever really naturally hit my jaw. Definitely not the undercarriage, but it's a nice contour effect too. My son, I mean my face, never sees the sun, so this is the best for all of the sunscreen wearing girlies, which is hopefully everyone. 
a little bit more on my forehead. And like I said, this lasts like three, maybe four days. The rest of my tan usually lasts me like 10, 13 days. 10 to 13, I would say, which is really nice. And this one seriously just fades so nicely for me. Like I did not have a hard time at all getting last time's tan off and it never looked like patchy and messed up. Okay. So now I am going to marinate, as I like to call it, in this for two hours. And then I'm going to rinse it off and show you guys the finished look. So it is nighttime right now. I might um, show you guys the finished product in natural light tomorrow. But I'm really excited because it already looks really good. Okay, guys. So this is the day after. I washed it off, and this is the same lighting that I was filming in last night. I'm getting ready to go do a workout, but here's the picture of me in the same outfit. Same lighting as last night from this morning. This was earlier this morning. And then I'm going to show you guys how this looks in natural light. Okay, so here it is full body, and I just love having a tan, especially in the winter, because it's giving me a little confidence boost. I feel like I can wear shorts again, or skirts, dresses, and... It just looks livelier. The color looks so good and so natural. Like, hello, so good. And you can literally just wear it for two hours and then wash it off, which is so nice. My face is always a little bit lighter than the rest of my body since I don't put the foam all over my face. But I'm gonna pick up some more of the face tanner and even that out a little bit, but it looks so good. So use my code at lovingtan and you'll get a free mitt and enjoy. And now, later today, in a little while, I'm gonna bring you guys to the salon with me. I'm gonna get my hair done, and I'm so excited because I just love getting my hair done. It feels like such a nice refresh for me. And what I'm gonna do today, I think I'm growing my hair out for right now. I like to grow and then chop, and then grow and then chop for color. That was weird. There, my hair looks project right now because why why would I do it before I'm going to get it done but for color last time we did this kind of like deeper root with a lot of dimension and it's kind of like darker overall in general and today I think I want to go back blonder just like going into spring and feeling a little brighter I kind of just go back and forth between these two styles like darker with some dimension and then lighter blonde i don't know i just like change but i don't want anything too drastic like i don't really want to dye my hair brunette because i did that once i did my hair black and it just was not the vibe for me and it took so long to get it back to blonde so i don't want to do anything that's like such a journey to get back from if that makes sense also i would like to dye my hair red or something but like something a little more drastic i guess but that's not as big of a deal as going super dark i also feel like everyone who dyes their hair brown who was blonde before likes it for a while but then eventually they go back blonde and it's like just such a such a struggle oh, it's always so old. He makes me sad. but yeah i just don't want to like go through that struggle i really like blonde hair I really enjoy my hair being blonde specifically. I have two of my best friends getting married this year and I feel like I just want my hair to be something kind of timeless and classic to me for all the photos and stuff that we're gonna take and just like looking like myself at their weddings. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go blonder again. We'll see what we get up to though because I never really know before I get in the chair. I'm just like, let's see what happens today. I could go. It could go anywhere. I show Aubrey a few pictures, we discuss, and then she works on magic. And this is my outfit of choice today. I just wanted to wear something comfy but still cute to so have this little baseball cap on since my hair is a little crazy. And then this oversized cream sweater. I've been wearing this nonstop. These are my Abercrombie jeans sweaters from Naked in my recent Pinterest video with a link and a discount code. And then these, out I'll just link it all here actually too because that'll be easier. I'll link these jeans, my sneakers, and then I'll probably bring it back. Oh my gosh, you're 
so great. I even got a little mint for you <laughs> afterwards. In case your breath stinks. I can't. How is it? <laughs> Not you with a plate in the hair salon. Know, sure, but. Hi guys, so what we did is we did a heavy highlight. Um, I went through obviously money piece like back to back foiling in the front. You can see how it's really right, really white <laughs> right there. Right, right works too. Really right. Um, and then I toned her with Redken Shades EQ in 10 WG and 10 GI. She's giving Equal you her secrets. So, um, and that's what makes it like that golden buttery blonde. I love it. Yeah. It looks so good. Guys, this is literally. I need to find some better light to talk about this. This is literally one of my favorite hair colors yet. Okay, that's better. Oh, it's so pretty. My hair is like... Um, I feel like my hair is kind of a awkward length right now because we're in the grow out phase and it's not long yet and it's not short anymore. It's like that medium length which sometimes I like but sometimes I feel like it's awkward ish but and I, I really like the cut right now too I love the cut I feel like the length sometimes is weird just because it's an in-betweener phase but it can be really cute too but I just love this color I'm obsessed I love you Aubrey okay for my final trick of the glow up vlog there's literally spider webs in these windows I'm like trying not to focus on that, but you guys know how I get when I see stuff that's related to spiders. Babe, do we have any like lavender spray or whatever I can put by these windows? Because there's spider webs. Uh, let me look. Thank you. So yeah, back to what I was saying. My final trick for this glow up vlog is going to be, like where are the spiders? getting my brows and my lashes done so the hair is still slaying I mean it's kind of in like a bird's nest right now but the color I'm obsessed like this is one of my favorite hair colors I've ever had it's so good warm honey butter cream I don't know it's just, I love it I cannot stress enough to you guys how much I love getting my brows and lashes done and when I say that I mean I'm going to get my brows tinted so they're gonna be much darker especially when I first get out like please don't come for me because it's gonna look crazy at first I also get them laminated so they're gonna be sticking up like dark little caterpillars and I kind of love it probably most people don't and wax so just like cleaned up a little bit and then for my lashes I get them lifted which just means they like curl and tinted so she dyes them black or dark brown depending on i might do dark brown today i don't know but anyways this is one of my favorite things ever i love it it makes the biggest difference for me it is honestly like i would give up so many other beauty treatments before i gave up this one because i love it so much the lashes i just started recently doing and it doesn't like i love it i think it's great but i could definitely give it up the brows on the other hand like this is one of my favorite things to have done so if you haven't tried it that was my passionate speech to possibly try it and if you're in orange county my girl Britt, i'll put her put her handle here i got my brows done by a couple other people down here and i would literally let no one else but her touch my brows at this point she's so freaking good i adore her so yeah that's what i'm gonna do for my last tricky trick this patrol is here just gonna use a little Peppermint oil. Fend off the spiders. Put it on a little napkin and then rub it. Be gone. Oh yeah, there's kind of a lot. Really stringy ones. That should help. Smells like a peppermint in here. Any in this one now? Don't see him over here in this bedroom in the office. Cleaned up Delaney's desk this morning. 
She had a ton of stuff everywhere. Wanted to make the space clean and decluttered for her. Also cleaned up this area. There was a bunch of stuff right there. Okay, so I forgot to vlog immediately after my appointment, but I'm telling you guys, I mean, I look absolutely crazy at this point in the day, but I love, I shaved the tail off. If you guys follow me on TikTok, the boys laugh. You'll, you'll have seen my TikToks maybe where I was using the filter where it like chops your brow off a little bit. Or it like it has all these lines. I'll put an example here. Um, and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do that. I want to see what happens when I cut my tail off. So Britt was down. I thought she was gonna be like, you're crazy, but she was like, I actually love it. A lot of people have been doing that lately, and she said that I have a lot of like hair at the end of my brow. So if I don't like it, it will easily grow back. But I love it. Like, do a nice little lift. Cause it's like instead of this line coming down more and bringing your eye lower it's just like a lip i'm obsessed and my lashes too just did the tint i, I honestly look so crazy right now i'm sorry please like that was so close to my greasy oily skin i'm going on a walk so i'll once i can put on makeup um because i don't get my brows and my lashes wet for like 24 hours um i'm gonna show you guys like the full glow up because right now I'm in the intermediate phase, but when when I can have all my glam done, we're going out to dinner with Samira and I in tomorrow night, so it's the perfect time. So, see you then. Yoga at sunrise. It's really going for it today. We just ate lunch. I probably have kale in my teeth. If you guys have never baked kale, just like a little olive oil and salt on top, I could eat seven million pounds of it. We've been eating that for literally so long, like six years, yeah. seven years probably. It's one of my favorite snacks and it's literally probably like all stuck in my teeth right now. But we have like so much going on right now. I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So I want to show you guys my look tonight when we're going to dinner with Samir and Aiden, but I'm afraid that I'm going to completely forget and just be wrapped up in stuff. So I wanted to show, because I just did my makeup for the first time with the new brows, my hair, my, my makeup headband is still on, but please, this isn't it. My hair has so much volume from my blowout still. It's been like three days. Okay, but anyways. I love the brows. I love the hair. And I love the tan. So the glow up has been achieved. Hooray! <laughs> we remember. A little freak named Jezebel. A little freak named Jezebel. Am I giving Harry Styles? Yeah. A little bit of Harry. A, little bit. a bit of Harry. Because this is my new bag. I don't think I've shown it anywhere. We got it used. And it is. A denim this was deal. A, the bag that when she did that last Pinterest video, yeah. it was like in every. I saw the shape everywhere. It was a different the brown shape. One. But then we came across this denim one. one. We love it. It's like 
a little flare like it goes with my black cheetah outfit and these are my cream boots and also these tights are actually leggings that are fleece lined you know so they're not like there's fleece nothing line. yeah and it's like this isn't actually my skin fleece fleece, fleece, lined. fleece, lined. fleece lined it's cold looks good we're going to dinner with our best delaney friends. told me that next week i got a glow up yeah, should we have a glow up vlog for Clayton next week? Oh, We're gonna yeah. shave the sides of my hair. Oh yeah, let's shave the sides of my hair. Oh, a mini glow up vlog. You can put my like, glow up vlog won't be as interesting as You can yours. put like some face tanner on. Yeah. What else can you do? You don't get your brows done, you don't get your nails done. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a facial. Or maybe we can get a hydro facial. Oh yeah, hydro facial. Okay. You switch out your earrings. That's switch kind out of my glow earrings. up. I'm working on my jewelry a little bit. Yeah. I like uh, the glow up things, they worked, you guys. Like, People were like, oh my god, you look so good. Like, you're glowing extra this week. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's not a, that's not I, my chance. I did it, I did it. <laughs> like, I, I glowed up and it's it's glowing. Literally. So, full and of I've, I've literally been telling you every step of the way. I mean, I tell you every day you're pretty. Mm -hmm. But this week you look so pretty. Thank you. I think your hair, turned out, your hair turned out so good, though. I got fresh nails, we love the fresh blonde. brows, fresh hair. Fresh tan. We love the fresh blonde on the hair. But I also I like it when you go a little brown with the, with the chunky blonde. Yeah. But it I always has like, too. it always has some bright blonde. blonde yeah. Sense. I know. But the blonde blonde, like this honey blonde color, oof, we love her. So, All right. We're going to go to dinner. Happy glow up, y'all. Happy glow up. To dinner and next we'll see you next week. week. Yeah. We don't know what we're doing. We'll see you guys next we week in the vlog. Love ya. Bye.